Hello and welcome to your short morning yin yoga practice. My name is Liz Hoya and um, for this practice you only need one block. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get started. So let's start in Sukhasana with our legs crossed, one in front of the other, really grounding down. And we're going to start our practice by just focusing on the breath for just a couple of minutes. So begin breathing in and out of the nose. Long and deep all the way to your belly. And if it feels right, you can close your eyes or you can keep your gaze low so that everything looks really fuzzy. Now we're gonna involve the arms a bit. So on an inhale, maybe you extend both arms out to each side, palms open. And on an exhale, draw your hands in, bringing your palms in towards each other, maybe just at the belly. Inhale, expand, open up. And exhale, bring it in. Just continue this at your own pace, just really allowing yourself to flow. Flow with the pace of your breath. Allowing yourself to really take up space with each expansion. Drawing in good things with each exhale. Take two more rounds of breath. Hands on your final exhale, bringing your palms down. You can slowly blink the eyes open if you'd like, and we're gonna take straddle pose. So bringing your legs out to each side, we're gonna be uh, just as wide as, feel, as feels comfortable. And extending up through your crown, turn toward your uh, left knee, left leg, and on an exhale, allow your spine to round down, sending your forehead down toward that knee. Maybe tucking your chin in a bit. We'll be holding our poses for about two minutes each today. Now be mindful to keep your sit bones planted to the mat. Your uh, right butt cheek, let me try to peel up, but just keep it planted down to the mat. As you allow yourself to kind of just surrender and just fall or melt into the pose.
Using your palms to press to the mat, slowly begin to roll your spine up. Just taking a moment here, return to center. Then we will go ahead and turn toward the right knee this time. And on an exhale, rounding your spine down. Just come over down toward that right knee. And using your palms, once again, roll your spine up, coming back to center for just a moment. And now we'll transition to tabletop pose to find uh, melting heart pose. All right, so using your hands, maybe to kind of bring your knees in. Your knees, so they're under your hips. And then just walk your hands forward, bringing your forehead down to the mat. Melting your heart down toward the mat.
And on an inhale, I'm going to come up, maybe shift forward a bit to go ahead and press yourself up. And we're going to transition into a swan pose. So you can go ahead and draw your uh, left knee up so that it's somewhere behind your left wrist. And you're going to uh, bring that left foot so that it's somewhere behind the right wrist, maybe closer into your groin, just wherever is comfortable, making sure that your hips are facing the top of the mat evenly. And let's use our blocks here to put up under that uh, left thigh. And we're just going to go ahead and come on down to the elbows. Maybe you come all the way down and bring your forehead to the mat. Um, if you have another block, you can bring it to rest your forehead on. So kind of do uh, find your way into this pose in, in a way that feels right for you. Taking slow, deep breaths, focusing your awareness on the movement of your breath and what that feels like. Maybe seeing if you can energetically, you know, just imagine sending your breath down into that left hip joint. Right from here, we're going to come up out of this pose and we'll have to go ahead and take it to the other side. Maybe taking a moment and just transition, extend the left leg back, pressing back to your heel, and just kind of doing what feels good for that hip. And then we'll go ahead draw the right knee up and once you find your pose go ahead and bring your block up under the right hip before you begin to lower down to your forearms or to your forehead Find stillness and hold the pose.
Just allow both of your legs to soften. And slowly pressing yourself up out of the pose. And once again, um, just uh, maybe extending that right leg back and just uh, moving the hip whichever way feels good for you. And then we'll find a way to a reclined position. Coming onto your back. Bring the soles of your feet together for a butterfly pose. Just allowing your uh, knees to fall open to each side. If this is too intense, you can bring your blocks for support under each knee. And here you can maybe lay, lay your palms at uh, your lower belly or feel free to extend your arms overhead just whatever feels right right now if it feels right close your eyes focusing your awareness internally Thank you. 
And using your hands, swoop your hands down if they're above your head and use your hands to press your knees up. And from here, extend your uh, right leg out, draw your left knee in, hold it here. And on an exhale, we're going to take a twist. So bring that uh, left knee over toward the right. And if you need to, you can bring a block to kind of rest underneath that knee. Resting your right hand on your outer thigh. Bring your left arm out to the side, trying to keep your shoulder down to the mat. This is where the block can really come in handy. Take this pose to your own degree. We're here for just a minute. And coming back to center, let's take it to the other side. So extending the left leg out this time, drawing the right knee in. And on an exhale, take your twist. And coming back up, and from here we'll move into our final pose, Shavasana. Allowing yourself to take up space. So maybe bring your feet a little wider than normal. Bring your arms out to each side, wider than you normally would. With your palms facing up, 
allowing your feet to just fall open. Maybe checking your shoulders, bringing your shoulders down slightly away from your ears and just allowing your, your body to really melt or soften onto the mat. Be sending your awareness through your body, starting from your feet all the way up, maybe seeing what feels different. Where are you feeling the benefits of your practice today? Feel free to remain here as long as you need to. When you're ready, begin to deepen your breath in and out of your nose. Maybe wiggling your fingers and toes to bring your awareness back to the space around you. And slowly rolling to one side to press yourself up to Sukhasana where we started. Bringing your palms together at your heart center. And we'll end our practice with a deep cleansing breath in through the nose and out of the mouth. Inhale. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. Till next time.